OK, the division problems I've been doing so far have all worked out very nicely. So for example, we did 276 divided by 12 is 23. We saw that as follows. We drew a picture of 276, we drew a picture of 12. We look for groups of 12 in a picture of 276. One dot next to two dots, one at that level. One dot next to two dots, one at that level. One dot next to two dots, one at that level. Another one at that same level, another one at that level yet again. So two at the ones level, at tens level, three at the ones level, 23 groups of 12. Grand. OK. Indeed, that was a very nice problem, it worked out to be a good whole number. So my question now is, what if I change this problem to say 277 divided by 12? What will we see? What will be the difference? OK, well, our picture wouldn't be this anymore. It would be now a picture of 277, which is two dots, seven dots, and one extra dot yonder. We'll still go ahead looking for groups of 12, and we'll see exactly this, but we see this one extra dot. How do we interpret that one extra dot? Well, we have to say then that 277 divided by 12 is 23, yep, two groups and three groups, with one extra remaining dot. Well, depending on what grade level you're in, you might write remainder one. Or in some countries, you might write dot, 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 one. You might write different ways. But maybe probably the correct way to write it in terms of like, you want to be like truly mathematically correct to say it's 23 plus one more dot still waiting to be divided by 12. So it's 23 plus one twelfth. My point is, this long division approach with pictures is kind of brilliant. I love it so much because if it turns out there are remainders, do you know what? You will just see them. They'll just sit there right before your very eyes and you'll know exactly what to do with them. So even if the division problem is not nice, remainders are a piece of cake. You can see what's going on. Loads of fun. Good stuff.